Hey chefs, welcome back to Close Kitchen. Today, we're going to have some curry chicken and rosy. Her favorite. Yes. So, I have the curry in here with some potatoes and chicken. So what is curry and rosy? Curry and roti is... You have curry and potatoes in the bowl. Mm -hmm. Roti, which is... It's like pita bread. But that's her favorite. Honey, this is gold. And it comes out like this. Nice and soft. Basically flour. Water. Flour and water. I don't know, but it's not bread, y'all. It's, it's so bomb. Oh, God's great. God's great. God's great. Let's thank God for our food. Thank you for the amazing meal that we're having today, especially after such a hectic week. Yes. And we hope that we can be... Uh, have a better week this week. Have a better week this week, and hopefully we can be comfort to someone that, you know, yes. wants to watch today. And I hope that y'all are eating with us. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So y'all, I'm back. We're back. We're back. Because I was gone for a minute. We're out of it. Yeah. My allergies is killing. And it's been a long, long week. And she keeps telling me I have allergies. Nowhere near as bad as mine. But she been, we all been sneezing up in here. No, no Rona. Just the pollen is on a thousand. I get a little messy, but um, I oh, yeah. you up. You eat with your hands. Everything is hands. Yes. Um, no right or wrong way to do it, but you know. It's easier. That's how we traditionally eat, yeah. I should say. So you take a piece of roti, and then you dip it, and pick up a piece of chicken, or potato with it. I don't know if I could show y'all. So I'll just show y'all what I pick up with the sauce. I always told mom if the end of the world ever came, I could live off of this. End of the world, if something happened financially, this would be my struggle food. Look, and once I'll you have happy. flour, once you have flour in the house, there's many possibilities. If you do end up getting curry and never had it before, do not wear your favorite shirt because <laughs> it will stain. Yes, and your nails too. Don't oh, wear yeah. no white nails because it's going to stain too. But it's pretty good. It's amazing. Um, it comes different. Different different people cook it different. I cook it with potatoes. Some people cook it with, is it chickpeas? Chickpeas. Some people make it thick, some people make, make it watery, mm -hmm. some dark, some light, some oily, some soupy. But and it's then, still curry. Yeah. And then you have the cultural differences mm -hmm. because um, we didn't know until we started watching Judy and Benji <laughs> if there was like an Asian uh, version Asian of version, yeah. curry. Which theirs looks totally different from ours. It has a darker tone to it. Mm -hmm. Ours is more yellow. And I know some of you are gonna ask what kind of curry I use. I use Jamaican curry. Um, use Ocho. I use a, a mixture. I use the Indian and then I use, what is it? Ocho Rio? Something like that is the brand. I usually mix my curry. Where do you buy that? At any grocery store in the inter international aisle. Or oh, you could buy it online on Amazon too. Nah, support the grocery stores and the international aisles because it's like the natural hair aisle. Get a lot tried. of these grocery stores need to get on on game and load up on their international aisle. For those of you who go to um, Target, Target also have an international aisle. Target has every aisle. Mm -hmm. Natural hair aisle, international Vegan, aisle. Vegan, everything. That's amazing. But yeah. But you guys will like it. Some people cook it with 
chicken legs and all that. I cook it with chicken breast today. You know what y'all, this is kind of nostalgic because our first video was a... Uh, was curry chicken. Curry chicken. I gotta do, I gotta, I gotta do a reaction to that. We lived in a one bedroom. We were moving. And that was our transition house. Yeah. Downsizing. Down, we down out of state. Yeah. So we downsized to stay there for like a month. The kitchen was that wasn't even a kitchen. That was small. I mean a studio apartment. I think only one person could fit in that, that kitchen. But you work with what you have. And I did my little video. I used to have to leave her with the camera. <laughs> because two people can't fit there. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. I'm like trying to help with the camera from the dining room, like leaning over. Yeah, because they had that little window thing looking thing. Yeah, that was my first video. Oh my gosh. I gotta go back and find it. That's crazy. And look at me years later. Oh, um, curry also comes in different, um, temperature. <laughs> you you can get it super, super hot and spicy. Mild. Mild. And then just regular and curry. Basic, yeah. Also, there is basic curry. Like she said, a different temperature. But there's also curry with masala in it, which is an Indian spice. That's another good curry. The curry with the masala is usually a little darker because masala is dark. Mm -hmm. Can I see that napkin already stained? Everything will turn yellow. <laughs> that's, why I, that's why I, I use this red tablecloth. Because my other tablecloth would have been done. But we chatting, we never even asked them how they doing. They don't be talking to us. I know. They don't be talking to us. They don't like this one. I, I realize that. I always ask you guys in the um, community tab, how you guys doing? <laughs> How's your day going? How was your week? How is the family? The kids? Those of, no kids. <laughs> those of you that's homeschooling, how is that going for you? And what are you doing today and what are you cooking? We had a bad week, y'all. I mean, when it rains, it pours. It's really a bad week, though. It wasn't really a bad week. It was just... again that's how I look at it some people look at it like I've been married for 18 years or 15 years and you know people always say the kids can't. yeah the kids is, the kids be another main one I just want to keep my family together I don't understand that. I don't think I could. I know I couldn't. I wouldn't be able to let it go. Mm. You wouldn't have a. You wouldn't trust that person after that. They hear about it every second of the marriage. Mm -hmm. If he said he's gonna be home at six and he come home at six fifteen, I'd be like, <laughs> dang, it could be traffic. He said six fifteen, y'all. We already know. I'm an Inspector Gadget. Put a track on this car. Mm -hmm. Instead of having to do all that, 
I'd rather have my peace and sanity. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you explain to the kids what you did whenever they get older and why the family not together. Mm -hmm. And stuff like that affect the kids. Mm -hmm. Bad. I'm not just talking about men. I'm talking about in general, both sides. Yeah, there's this guy that's trending on, on, the, on that topic. That's why we decided yeah, to know. touch. For those of you that don't know. Mr. Derek Jackson. It's insane. But he out here giving people relationship advice. How can you give relationship advice when you are there cheating? I'm confused. Because you need that advice yourself. You can't, how are you gonna write a book and all that, that mess? Well, I'm sure he had his book written for this too. And oh my God, if you look at the wife, she looks scared. She looks scared. I just don't see why he had to hold her hand so aggressively. Yeah. Like she's two years old. Basically, you know, holding her hand like, you better don't say nothing. Remember what we talked about. That man screams manipulation. Mm-hmm. Screams it. And she just look like, she, is, she she's not even talking much. I mean, when she do, she justify it with... What he's doing is right. Yeah. Uh, you know, with religion. Oh, yeah. That, what, is, what was it? I forgot what he said. Mm -hmm. They quoted so many sermons I couldn't keep up. Oh, they quoted stuff from... Okay. Yeah, I know we can't talk uh, what you call him on here, but... Yeah. That's why I just said religion. Yeah. But y'all know. That's crazy. And then, the person he was cheating with also spoke. I feel like that's the only. I don't know. I feel like men like that they only come out whenever they get caught. Like they don't, they don't have no kind of guilty conscience to be like, you know, let me go tell my wife mm -mm. before she find out. Mm -mm. They be waiting till they get caught, which tells me everything. That tells me you didn't want me to know. Mm -hmm. And you were able to sleep at night knowing that I did not know. <laughs> that's a problem. <laughs> I'll come home and sleep with you. I don't care if it's fifty-two years. That don't sit right with me. Yeah, people will say that because they don't want to start over. Maybe like I've invested so much into this. It was the fact that they said it was many times though. I don't know. What he what, what's wrong with him? He have an addiction or something? I don't know. That all sounds like an addiction. And just the fact that she's allowing that and they have kids. Like what are you teaching? Kid. What are you teaching your kids? They have daughters. Um, he never taught. That was the thing that he never really talked much about his family. Everybody just seen her for the first time. I don't think oh, he wow. ever seen his kid. I told you the same thing that I didn't even. I didn't know he was married, but people like that that be talking like that always are usually married. Just like uh, religious people. Um, most of them that are public figures, most of them are married. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We've never seen her, and that's probably why. Mm -hmm. I don't know. She just look uncomfortable. Y'all, let us know in the comments below. What are y'all deal breakers in a relationship or marriage? Could you come back from cheating? And then some people be like, they couldn't come back from cheating if they were just dating, but mm -hmm. they could come back if they were married. I just couldn't. I can't do it regardless. What's the difference? I guess you vow because you um have that vow to take all so. in. I know I can't do it regardless. Like I said, just the pain is for me. I'm that type. I'm like those, a lot of pain. Those TikToks where they be um you ever seen those TikToks and they be like, you ever look at your husband, look at your boyfriend? You be like, oh, he's looking so cute, and all the crazy thoughts start going to your head, <laughs> or like. Crazy thoughts, and then you also have the thoughts of just like, oh, he dirty. 
Oh, he don't do that. Mm. I don't be even washing dishes. Oh, like I'm that person. So I'll be looking at him sleep like, girl, what you doing here? And I have those moments. Oh my god. I have those moments. I'll be like, people gotta sleep in one eye open with you. Yes. Yes. Mm -mm. They better. But I ain't talking to no trackers and no crazy stuff. I am very investigative. But yes. I don't want. I wouldn't want to be in a relationship where I feel like I have to be investigated. I do it. Excuse me. If we see the the red flags. No, I don't do it in relationships. I do it for my family, honey. Somebody doing them wrong, she could tell y'all, honey. All the way down to jobs, I could find everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. I told her she's she's um she has the wrong career. I could look that up. Yeah. I, I don't I don't want y'all too much in the business. I'm trying to think of some examples, but just like like I said, like jobs, like if somebody were to be advertising something, Airbnbs, like anything where like safety is like an Girl, issue. Girl, she do background checks and everything. Wherever we move to, like I could always figure those things out. But I don't do that in no relationship. Like I said, once I feel like I need to start doing that's a full time job, I don't have time for that. I'm not being paid for that. So. But if you dating somebody well, for me, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a background check on that person. I agree, Mom, but you're saying to do it. I'm not doing that in a relationship. The moment I feel like I need to keep track of you and I need to go and look up this and look up that and ask you who's this and that, I ain't got time for that. That's too much. I'll be gone. Yeah. But, honey, we was like buying a house or buying land somewhere. Honey, I can tell you who live there right now. I can tell you how many kids they have. I'm going to find everything. Did they pay their taxes? Let us know in the comments, like she said, um... What are your deal breakers? Mm -hmm. And yeah. could you bounce back from cheating? And yeah. Cause y'all already know our stance equally. <laughs> so let us know in the comments below. And we hope that y'all enjoyed our curry. That's my leftover. I, I'm, I'm beyond full. <laughs> this is mine. I don't even know. Curves. Yeah. I had like maybe three rotis. And this, yeah. yeah. So thank you guys for joining us today. And hopefully, if you've never had curry before, try it. Try it because I know a lot of people just know like jerk chicken, like the basics. Mm -hmm. Curry is kind of one of those staples too, but a lot of American um, restaurants usually make it with rice. So hopefully, mm -hmm. we introduce you guys something new um, to try and taste. Yeah, but I promise it's bomb. And if you if you try it, let us know if you like it and what you think about it. Yeah. So thank you guys for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And, and as always, keep cooking, chefs. Bye. Bye. See you in the next video. Bye, y'all.